Queen Elizabeth II has been highly praised by U.S. President Joe Biden after she was awarded for her life, long dedication to public service. The Queen has been officially recognized across the pond for her leadership and unwavering commitment to her country and the Commonwealth. On Thursday, the Sovereign was awarded the second Ruth Bader Ginsburg Women of Leadership Award, which celebrates women who have dedicated their lives to public service and made a positive change in society. Mr. Biden sanctioned the decision to award the Queen for her seven-decade long service to the UK and the Commonwealth by penning a letter to her Majesty, in which he praised the 95-year-old sovereign for setting an example. The US President wrote, This award is a testament to your lifetime of leadership and unflinching devotion to serving the people of the Commonwealth. Your strength and integrity through an era of unprecedented global challenges have set an example for the world that will continue to inspire leaders for generations to come. Mr. Biden met for the first time the Queen in June at the reception for the G7 held in Cornwall. Two days later, the monarch hosted Mr. Biden and his wife Dr. Jill Biden for tea and a private audience at Windsor Castle. Following this meeting, Mr. Biden praised Her Majesty for her generosity. He said, we had a long talk. She was very generous. I don't think she'd be insulted, but she reminded me of my mother. In terms of the look of her and just the generosity. She was very gracious. Opening up on their discussion, Mr. Biden said they had spoken about Russian President Mr. Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping. He added, she said, what's it like in the White House? I said, well it's magnificent, but it's a lot of people. On Thursday, Mr. Biden wasn't the only leading U.S. personality praising the Queen for her commitment to public duties. The Chief Justice of the Supreme Court Justice John Roberts said in a statement, Your Majesty's reign has exemplified devotion to service and to the rule of law. It has inspired a great many others around the world to give of themselves for the broader good. He also said, Your Majesty and my late colleague Justice Ginsburg personified those virtues in different arenas, to be sure, but with the same extraordinary level of commitment and indeed, courage. U.S. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi also showed to be keeping the Queen in high regard, saying, She has been a leader who has embodied the highest virtues of service, dignity and grace. Ms. Pelosi added, Your lifelong commitment to civic duty has earned the reverence of your people. And indeed the world dot while inspiring countless young women and girls. The award was accepted on behalf of the Queen by her ambassador to the U.S., Her Excellency Dame Karen Pierce. DCMG. Attending the award ceremony at the Library of Congress, Dame Karen said, It is a great honor and privilege to accept this award on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. The award commemorates the lasting legacy and inspiring commitment of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Her Majesty, the Queen's unwavering dedication and public service is an inspiration felt around the world. The Ruth Bader Ginsburg Women of Leadership Award set up to honor the memory of the late Supreme Court Justice who died in 2020, is presented every year by the Dwight D. Opperman Foundation. The Queen made her commitment to the Commonwealth clear on her 21st birthday in April 1947. During a tour of the Commonwealth with her family, then Princess Elizabeth said via radio, through the inventions of science I can do what was not possible for any of them. I can make my solemn act of dedication with a whole empire listening. I should like to make that dedication now. It is very simple. I declare before you all that my whole life whether it be long or short shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.